Welcome back to another playthrough. This is Axelon from Enthusiast, continuing The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 1, A New Day. Last we stopped, we were in this drugstore, and we were walking in circles. But enough walking in circles, let's actually do something now. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Side yeah, quest. Let me have a look. Or is it? Maybe this is mandatory. I don't know. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Beats, too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Right. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Can I give her another one? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> this guy in the background. I'm good. <laughs> That's good. Just having a little heart-to-heart yeah, -heart here. That's so. all. I'll get you your pills. Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Priorities, you know. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. First, I gotta find me. Another battery. Aha! Let me give this radio my little magic touch here. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Is it not working? Uh, let me it's have a look working. at it. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <sighs> Nothing. Uh, I know it's a zombie apocalypse, but this is this is basic reading comprehension here. I mean, I could give this radio to Clementine right now, and I bet she could figure out what's wrong. <coughs> oh, that gas there. <coughs> Sorry about that. I was just so shocked that radio suddenly works. The station is okay. Coffee fits. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, God bless you all. Well, that ended poorly. I don't remember them very well.
It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Kenny... Kenny is the type of character where you, you can go one of two ways with him. If you are a part of Kenny's quote-unquote group, he will defend you like a hungry bear. If you are not part of his group, you are a secondary objective that could potentially threaten his family and you are suspicious by default. And I think it works. I, I think Kenny works as a character. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl Two can days. do that. If you're counting. It's apparently it's been three days. But still, two days for an eight-year-old. The zombie apocalypse. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. On that note, Back speaking on of dead farm, people. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We didn't let him die. It happened pretty fast, I guess. Duck. But I can't let stop seeing him in my head. Ran over we him with the tractor. Kill so we killed that boy. No, we didn't. We could have saved him together. Killed we him. Could. Bad things happen. Duck and the we didn't and the zombies. Of kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. He had it coming. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? 
Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? The nah, just mechanical admin thing stuff. Is I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats Larry, all day. The old man. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UT. Larry is pretty much the same as Kenny. They're both protecting their family. And they're both willing to go to extreme measures to do so. Obviously, the, the Larry family is a bit more grown up than Kenny and his family. Because his daughter is obviously a fully grown adult woman. But yeah, they're pretty much the same. I say pretty much because they're not completely the same. There, there is a, a small distinction that separates the two, but we'll go into that later. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? Holy. What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. I still have a candy bar. You saved my life, you can have it. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. seem all right to you yeah well maybe not the sick guy yeah we'll keep an eye on him and there yes, was that we thing will. in the bathroom it tried to get me i know but you stopped it yeah i did can you do that more well i'm not gonna go looking for him. i mean get the dangerous ones i'm gonna try good when, when they are all dangerous i'm gonna keep looking around okay Never forget that, Clem. Every zombie is a danger. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens My who killed a state identity, senator who was know. sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on I this. I wasn't one of my options. Yeah, I, I told Kenny. Kenny. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Jeez, just have... Just out me as a murderer in front of the eight-year-old. Carly. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was badly dead. hurt. All well, that blood. Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector at least. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. It's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh no. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. Because they're dead. Oh, I, uh, okay. Okay, game. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage.
Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Ah, no stories. Stories, huh? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. So they've been trying to get into the pharmacy since they got here. But the, the pallets and the desk were in the way? Were they trying to cut, go in through the window? The barred window? Ah, whatever. Whatever. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. And let's leave it at that. haven't we talked to? You. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. No! Be just. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Kind of a random question. But, has... I know that there's obviously there's a TV series as well as some graphic novels out there about the same uh, same franchise, The Walking Dead. Have they covered what caused the zombie apocalypse? Like, was it like I Am Legend, where it was a cure for cancer gone wrong, or? Or was it some kind of bioweapon made by the military? I'm not sure. I, I've i seen very little of The Walking Dead, believe it or not. And, yeah. I don't think we can do anything yet. Let's head back inside. Okay. So, 
we're just gonna walk back inside. Maybe do some more walking in circles. Or not. Something triggers this. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Look at the one trapped over there. Better come on us, huh? Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. <laughs> Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Luckily, luckily enough, I have this picture. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Speaking of time, we are now out. If you guys liked what you see here, drop a like, drop a comment. You can always visit us at enthusiasts.com. We've got some great articles, great discussions. I'm Axelon, and I will see you guys in the next video.